So a couple of weeks ago on the program, we looked at a poll from the uh, Democratic Party primary taking place in Ohio for a special election, and it showed that Nina Turner had a massive lead over everyone else. Her closest opponent, Chantel Brown, was like 35 points behind her. Now, of course, it's not a foregone conclusion, but obviously Nina Turner is doing really well. So, of course, you know what that means. The Democratic Party establishment is going to try to stop her, as I predicted, and they're bringing out the big guns. And by big guns, I mean their special weapon, Hillary Clinton. So Hillary Clinton came out of hiding to endorse Nina Turner's opponent in a pathetic attempt to sink Nina Turner's campaign, tweeting, I'm proud to endorse Chantel Brown for Congress in Ohio's special election. Chantel made history as the first black woman to chair her county Democratic Party, and she'll work to help her state and our country recover from COVID. Join me in supporting her. Now, let me remind you that the last time Hillary Clinton came out of hiding to try to stop a progressive from winning was when Elliot Engel was caught on hot mic at a Black Lives Matter rally saying, I wouldn't be here if I wasn't facing a primary challenge. I'm paraphrasing, but that was what he said. It was this PR nightmare, and it looked as if he kind of sunk his own campaign. So Hillary Clinton comes out of hiding to endorse him after he says that. <laughs> What happened? Jamal Bowman won. And if anything, her endorsement of Jamal Bowman's opponent helped Jamal Bowman because what happened? Everyone rallied behind Jamal Bowman, sent him money. And this is no different. We all need to make sure that we show Hillary Clinton that we don't care about her input. And uh, we're going to use her endorsement of Chantel Brown, Nina Turner's opponent, to further help Nina Turner by donating to Nina Turner. If you've already donated to Nina Turner, you could purchase merch. You can do whatever, make phone calls for Nina Turner, but show Hillary Clinton that she's irrelevant in modern Democratic Party politics, and we don't care what she has to say. And honestly, if I'm Chantel Brown, I would not be happy right now that Hillary Clinton endorsed me, because in the past, this has kind of been the kiss of death. Once <laughs> Hillary Clinton comes out to endorse you, it shows that you're desperate and she's not very popular, even within the Democratic Party. This is the individual who is in part responsible for Donald Trump and multiple Supreme Court seats going to the Republican Party for decades. So, I mean, she doesn't have much goodwill left, but what little she has, she continues to squander by coming out of hiding to only endorse the opponents to progressives when progressives specifically are doing well. It's honestly embarrassing. Like, if I were Hillary Clinton, I wouldn't want this to be my legacy. Like, I wouldn't want to be seen as this figure in the party that tries to stop grassroots momentum, but here we are. And honestly, like, I forgot that Hillary Clinton existed before she came out to endorse Chantel Brown, and it was really nice. But it's funny because it reminded me how the left just doesn't take Hillary Clinton seriously. So I want to share some of the responses. Christo Avalis writes, if anyone was unsure about their vote, this should 100% put them in the Nina Turner camp. And that's exactly right. Scott Desnoyers writes, thank you for real this time, Hillary. OMG, it is so awesome for this blazing endorsement for the working people to get behind Nina Turner. Basically, I mean, her endorsement of Nina Turner's uh, opponent is an endorsement of Nina Turner for normal people. A uh, kiss of death. Totally agree. It's a D plus 64 district. LOL. Benjamin Dixon writes, we good. David Dole says, LOL. Uh, Nathan Meza donated to Nina Turner doing his part. Thank you for that. Um, Donna Martin says, still petty as fuck, I see. Uh, Gato Fumador says, thanks, Hill Dog. I mean, this is just, it goes on and on. It's hilarious to me. You're a sad, pathetic person to want to do this. Um, you know, for her to come out of the woodwork, it's just to endorse the opponent of a progressive is embarrassing. Andrea says, thank you, Queen, for sinking her candidacy. I mean, the responses here are hilarious and it goes on and on. So, I mean, there you have it. Hillary Clinton might have single handedly sealed the fate of Nina Turner's opponent. It's just Anytime there's somebody who was an ally to Bernie Sanders or has the same politics as Bernie Sanders because she's still bitter, she's coming out to endorse them. And I don't know that Hillary Clinton like did this on her own accord. I'm sure that the Ohio Democratic Party establishment called on her and requested her support. But if you are a politician in 2021, you should stay as far away from Hillary Clinton as possible because how many campaigns has she sank at this point? Like, you'd think that they know by now that Hillary Clinton is a toxic figure that you don't want to be associated with, but nevertheless, here we are, and I welcome Hillary Clinton's support of Nina Turner's opponent.
Go donate to Nina Turner.